So today we'll be talking about light linking. So what light linking actually means is it basically gives you the ability to control which object the light is hitting or which object the light does not hit. For example, if I have a scene like that and I set up a light like that, it will be hitting both the character and the set at the same time, right? So light linking basically allows you to manipulate, um, maybe exclude the character and it only hits the ground. Okay. So um, personally, I think um, light linking, it's, it's quite forbidden, um, which I strongly do not recommend you guys to do. But of course, the option is there. Then I need to go through with you guys. There is this option that you can actually use. But I feel that this should be used very selectively and really, if you understand what you're doing, then you use it properly. Um, because the, the moment you start light linking stuff off or on a certain character, it means that your scene technically is not physically correct already, right? So um, you do not want to do that, but sh I will still show you how you can do that. Okay, so basically, um, I'll just, I set up a simple scene now. Um, and I will just demo what's the usage of the light linking. So for example, I already light up my character nicely. And then I start putting um, lights. Okay, so this is how my, my character looks with this three point lighting. So the rim, key and fill. Okay, then um, for some reason, I, I choose to light the character first before I put in the environment lights. So now when I put in my environment lights, so let me just unhide this. And then I do a quick render. You see that my characters get blown out. Um, so it gets um, super bright. And this is not how I want him to look. Okay. And then if, if I look at my scene, I can see that there's this three top light that is there. That is causing him to be not how I want him to look. Right. So what I can do now is I can light link off these three lights. So I still want these three lights to continue to light up my environment, but I do not want the lights to affect my character. Okay, so what I can do is I will go to Windows, Relationship Editor, and there's this light linking um, option, and you can choose either one. So basically light centric is, okay, I'll just click. <clears throat> so it will show your, your lights in the left column. And then if you use the, um, object centric it's the object that is on the left column so depends on how comfortable you are with um, I will just use the one that is using the like centric so like centric okay so on the left side it shows you all the likes okay so I just need to choose my the likes that I want to um, use this light linking option. So it's all my, it's this three set light. I just need to select it. Okay, so it's area light one. Okay, so I'll just choose area light one. So once you select the light, you'll see that on the right side, which is all your geometry, has all the geometry selected. So basically this means that this light is affecting all the geometry in a scene, which is normal, right? So now if I want to unlink from the geometry, what I need to do is just deselect it. So now my character is rigged, right? So now I just need to deselect. So I just click once, you will, just, you will see that it's not highlighted now. Okay, so this will mean that this light will not affect my character anymore. Okay, so now if I were to do the same for the next two light, for example, this one will be area light 9. Okay, deselect. And then area light 8. I will just deselect. Okay. Close this. And then if I were to do a render now, you can see that I've preserved how I wanted my character to, to look like. And I kept the lights to continue to illuminate my background. <clears throat> right. It it but still works. Um like the rim light still ties in with the the environment. Now it's a bit suspicious this this warm light is not uh, really uh, in your environment so it might looks a bit disconnected and maybe like you see this area is so bright here and your character is not really um, tying in with your background so this is what I mean by once you start doing things like that your scene starts to look um, physically not correct right 
but if that's the result that you want and if that's the look that you're going for uh, feel free feel free to use slight linking okay so another um okay let me just save this first okay so there's another usage of light linking for example i i want to create um some shaping to my character um <clears throat> and okay let me just create a like okay here a like then i want to okay okay and i want to maybe just give some nice um uh, shaping, I mean, nice rim onto the face here. Then I can look through selected. So I always like to look through selected. Okay, I can select the face, press F, I can zoom in. Okay, so for example, I want to get some rim onto the face here. Okay, and then um, I, I don't like to, I don't want to place the, the light so close to the character for some reason. So if I zoom out like that, okay, okay, basically the lights will not hit the character now because it's outside of the, the set right so let's just give this like an AOV so we can check what's happening okay so you go to attribute editor like shape and then let's just this give this the the screen left rim okay I'll go to render settings and I'll put in extra AOV okay so now if I were to render this this light Okay, let me just name it and give it exposure. <clears throat> okay, so if I were to render this like now, you will see that it does nothing to my character. So if I look at the AOV, it's maybe something, but it's not what I want, right? I, I just want this, this rim to affect my character. So I can still have the light outside of the, um, the set and I want it to hit the character. So what I can do is I can I go to the light link um, option, exclude the set from this light. So the lights will, sh um, the rays will go through the, the set and hit the character. So what I mean by that is, um, let's just quickly go to Windows, Relationship Editor, Light Linking, Light Centric. Okay, so screen left rim, I want it to not hit the set. Okay, so I de uh, deselect the set. So now it's just affecting the rig. So if I were to do a render now, you can see that it goes through the set and hits directly on the character. Okay, so now I can reposition. So I will look through selected. I can um, maybe anger it a little bit. Okay, I'll just put it in so I can see what I'm doing. I'm doing. Okay. Yep. So maybe this rim I like, and maybe I want to roll it back some a bit so it does not wrap around the shoulder so much. Right. So I can roll it down a bit. Check, yeah, this gives quite a nice um rim, and then if I like I said, if I don't want to put the like so close to the character for some reason, um, <clears throat> uh, I can have it outside. Okay, and then let's check the overall image. Yep, pretty cool. Before and after. Yeah, you get a bit more the the shipping here. Yeah. Then now I can just go back to my cam. Yep. Yeah, so this is how you can use light link. So even if the light is being blocked by something, you can use the light link to turn off the the object that it's blocking the light and have the light shine through directly onto the character that you want. Yeah, I think that's a very short and sweet um demo. So yeah, that's that's light linking for you. Thank you everyone. Alright guys, if the video is helpful to you, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, do drop in the comment section and I will answer them when I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks everyone.